All right, so we're checking out the only game where when everyone else is trying to see how many Fortnite guys they can kill with one sniper bullet, we're seeing how many Earths it takes to stop the orbit of Uranus. It's Universe Sandbox 2. This glorious pinwheel of death is the Milky Way Galaxy. Universe Sandbox 2 just added galaxies to their abilities, which means that today we're gonna get to kill more life than I think has ever been done in any video game ever made. Typically, billions of people die in every Universe Sandbox 2 video, but this time, we're doing things on a galactic scale. <laughs> Galaxies are like the tortoises of outer space. They don't move very fast. So right now we're moving at uh, 410,000 years a second. Everyone's always worried about what happens when another galaxy hits our galaxy. And today we're gonna be making all kinds of galaxies hit one another. I never thought I'd be launching a galaxy at another galaxy. Look everyone, it's the Andromeda galaxy, which looks like it could beat the hell out of our galaxy in a fist fight because of the size difference. I'm gonna go ahead and thrust this galaxy at our galaxy and see what happens. Luckily, when a galaxy isn't moving fast enough, we can go ahead and hit the gas a little bit here. All right, Milky Way, you've been sitting around collecting dust for far too long. The Andromeda galaxy is coming to beat that ass. I'm actually surprised at how fast I have to make this thing move to cross space. It's like it's coming in for a freaking landing over here in the Milky Way. Wow, normally my aim sucks, but we're pretty much coming down for a direct hit. I'm gonna go ahead and slow things down a little bit because quite frankly, I've never had two galaxies try and slap one another so uh this is the very first galactic fist fight that's ever happened inside of a video game you really need to uh turn the trails on over here to get an understanding it's like a glorious toilet bowl of flushed galactic particles just the tips are touching it doesn't really look that bad i don't know maybe the distance is a lot farther than i would think it would be it's possible that the milky way is kind of getting stretched like taffy but you know, we might still be all right. All right, they may be starting to get a little too cozy at this point. Now the Milky Way is just being absorbed by the Andromeda Galaxy. Never mind, I was wrong. They went their separate directions. They're both completely screwed. They don't have any of the of the previous form that they had before. You can remove the black hole in the Milky Way Galaxy. Okay. Oh, that sucks for the Milky Way. <laughs> well, looks like black holes turned out to be pretty important. Because, you know, without them, you get flung across the entirety of the universe. Hey, Andromeda. You, uh, you think your ass is getting away scot-free? Must be crazy. Get out of here. <laughs> the amount of particles they managed to put in this game is amazing. I want to shoot a galaxy through another galaxy at the speed of light. Random spiral galaxy. Sure. That is a gorgeous looking galaxy. It's too bad it has to die. Launch it. Speed of light. Why is there like a laser beam going from one galaxy to another galaxy? Is this something that's supposed to happen? Light speed is not that fast when you're dealing with galactic sizes. One galaxy slapping another galaxy at light speed. Beat that ass, baby. I kind of, it's kind of impressive because normally black holes end up screwing each other over. Okay, not sure what that is. That's probably all of the different planets and stuff smashing into one another, causing a bunch of darkness. <laughs> You have to speed, you have to speed things up, but when you do, that's when you see the damage that throwing a galaxy through another galaxy does. Look at what happened to the Milky Way. Part of it just ripped off, went into a different direction, and then it got ejected into the other side of the universe. Okay, I've got to put like four or five different galaxies surrounding each other, like a battle royale of galaxies and see who wins. What kind of tiny ass little galaxy is this? <laughs> okay, some galaxies you can't, you can barely see. Some of them are grievously overpowered. There's a galaxy over here that's the size of a friggin' Mini Cooper compared to all this. Got Big Brother Andromeda looking to take fools down, speed things up. Now in order to get any kind of movement you got to get up to about 700,000 years per second so um i think we're all gonna be all right for the most part i realize that eventually our our galaxy will run into another galaxy but uh you know we'll all be dead okay i think i know which galaxy the ruler is <laughs> because this big ass thing is pulling everything toward it when you turn the trails on you really get to see it but now like in amoeba it's going to get the opportunity to absorb everything else it is 
pulling this galaxy. Look at the pieces going flying. That's got to be a big ass black hole. I don't know anything about these galaxies. I just have fun in this game. But watching the galaxy get visibly disassembled by another galaxy, it's pretty hot. It's when you know that uh, you're a fan of space. When your idea of a good time is watching one galaxy rip another galaxy to shreds. You can't even turn the trails on because it just looks like a bunch of lightsabers fighting with one another. There goes the Milky Way galaxy. That's pretty much gone. I don't think there's anything left. There goes Andromeda. Well, what's left of Andromeda? I think there may be a black hole left in there. I'm really not sure. And the victor. I see 1101. <laughs> kind of cool, the glowing globe of anger, even though it's lost a lot of its particulates, is uh, still looking pretty powerful and pretty angry. It just has a lot more forward movement right now. I wanna see if it holds together. I'm gonna move things. Now we're at 16 million years a second. Actually, this might be a good idea to see if it does in fact simulate the Milky Way, like dying over time as suns and stuff burn out. After I do this, I'm gonna make a galaxy that's just massive, and I'm gonna put like 20 Milky Way galaxies around it and see what happens. All right, there, yeah. The Milky Way galaxy diffuses over time. Now we're at gajillions of years per second, understand? All right, so Milky Way's looking pretty good. Everything's fine. Its wife hasn't left it yet. It hasn't turned to alcoholism. It hasn't started abusing opioids and stuff like that. Starting to move time along a little bit though. And uh, the center is like looking a lot less impressive over time. I'm gonna keep moving it here. You can see as all the stars, I assume get older. It mentioned that all the older stars are orange in color and all the better younger stars before they've been jaded and broken by lives of sadness are the blue stars. All right, so 16 million years a second enough isn't enough yet. How about 32 million years a second? Nope, still around. Okay. How about 63 million years a second? Every once in a while it fires off a chunklet, but still surviving. 120 million years a second. Oh, still there. 400 million years a second. At this point, it's kind of difficult to watch. There we go. The middle got destroyed right at about 1.9 a lot of years a second. And our creamy center has been reduced to a black nothingness. And then right about here, it just completely disintegrates. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, bring this radius way up. I'm only going to give it one spiral arm. So it's like a giant whip slapping all of the other galaxies. I would just like to point out that the black hole that has to hold this thing together has whatever number that is of mass of the sun. This is how pathetic the Milky Way is in comparison. <laughs> I'm gonna be putting Milky Ways all over the place here. All right, baby, don't disappoint me. I want to see all these Milky Ways in shambles. You thought you could come to this game and live a life of happiness, your ass must be crazy. Let me turn off the trails here so that we can actually see what's going on. This is the first time that I've had any slowdown because, um, you know, there's about a gajillion particles on the screen right now. It is kind of weird because there's no arm. There's only the one single spiral arm. So there's really nothing else going on. It's buzzsawing the Milky Ways. Uh, the Milky Ways are starting to join. Okay, two of them just hit against one another and are gone now. <laughs> those two Milky Ways evaporated. This is what's left of them when they hit. It's like one of those old Kung Fu movies where 30 ninjas are surrounding Bruce Lee and they're all trying to see who wants to attack first. Here we go. Two other Milky Ways getting too close. <laughs> oh, yes. That is awesome. What's interesting is that this galaxy isn't really destroying anyone. All the Milky Ways are just causing their own self-destruction. Never mind, that one Milky Way just got absorbed. Another Milky Way just got obliterated. That means there's only really three Milky Ways that are in one piece left. To be fair, it's taken this many years to get to this point. They all seem to have lost their center as well. So I think that the the galaxies are what, like dying on their own anyway? just due to time. Yeah, the other Milky Way galaxies just aged out. This galaxy just lasted longer in short, in sheer time. However, all things 
must eventually come to an end. This galaxy is like, there's no more Milky Ways for me, Gray. I don't love you anymore. I'm going home. What's wild is one of the things that you can do with the galaxies is mess with all of the abilities. So like, what happens if you just take the mass? Like you leave the radius the way it is, but you just start making the galaxy a higher and higher mass. Yeah, everything gets freakishly hot. Hold on, what happens if you keep going? Like eventually everything would turn into a black hole or something, right? Isn't that what should happen if the... uh if the density of all the planets and stuff, what the hell is happening in the middle? Hold on, we've got a little bit of turbulence in the middle. Kind of looks like an egg, basically like uh, like the yolk of an egg. But what's happening is it's starting to draw in everything else because the density is so high and you have little bits of galactic exhaust that's coming out. Make this even more, more mass. Come on, baby. What do you got for me? There we go. I have no idea what's happening right now because the mass is so high, but we have diffused the galaxy yet again. What happens if you put a galaxy next to a galaxy where the mass is that high? I just want to know, so I'm gonna put another Milky Way in here. I'm curious to see like, you know, if it has any issues with this or if it's for the most part, fairly happy with its new place in life. It doesn't look like anything bad is happening. Nope, never mind. Something bad is really... <laughs> happening right now it's being turned into rings like saturn level rings except where it's the entire milky way that's doing it it's due to the black hole size which is that many suns more milky ways more milky ways <laughs> all that's left is the yolk oh we're creating a new galaxy with all the particles it just takes many many milky ways in order to do it how many milky ways must be sacrificed so that we can have a brand new galaxy better than the old one. There you go. They got a brand new galaxy. Everything's fine. Everyone's happy again. We did it. Saving lives. Hey, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2. God, I love galaxies. Anyway, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.